I weighed like 120 kilos, flexing like Travis, and then I Travis replying, real. you know. Buying a blue tick is stupid. What's 25 million views on TikTok? Mm -hmm. That's crazy. <laughs> Imagine how like something happens and it stops recording. <laughs> don't say Why that, don't, don't say I... that, don't say that. Are you nervous when you do things like that? Well, I never, I, I was never in like a position like this, honestly. Okay. So I am nervous when, when I started recording with One Life Rally, you yeah. know, the stories, you know, hey guys, we are here in Milan. So in the beginning, I had those things like scripted yeah. a bit more than they are right now. I, we had to take like 15 takes of that. Like, and then it's oh like, my, like even like, we started like with the jump, you know, so we jump in like, <laughs> what's up guys? Oh, and then, oh, oh my God. God. Then oh, again, that, then was I, one take. that sounded like Peter McKinnon. What's up guys? Yeah. yeah I, what's I, up, I said it too much. Like I, I always say like, what's up guys? What's up guys? Yes. <laughs> Here we are guys. Here are, we are in the room. Wow. So. Yeah, we spoke with Nick, the CEO of the of the One Life. He was like, Nico, try to, you know, it's good. I like the stories, but try to maybe have some fantasy about maybe yeah. switch it a bit, you know? Yeah. So, so what would you say makes a good intro for a video? Because I'm guessing shit. what's up, guys? It's like it's we boring. can say that for it's the boring. we can say that for the episode, though. I thought we just started like that. Yeah, we started. Do yeah. we? Yeah, oh, of sure. course, Gary. Oh, you okay. said that's, that's how we, that, that, that was a super good start because when I know, we started, he was like, oh. <laughs> please, <let's> stop, <laughs> stop now, please. <laughs> okay, like, but if you want to introduce today, we are having here Nico Gustin, who is our incredible friend. I met Nico around three years ago. I decided to meet with you on my birthday instead of my friends, actually, because I was so desperate to meet you. I was so interested in you, and now we're here, and I'm sure more people are interested. But Nico is one person that probably I can say honestly has grown so much crazy since i met you especially coming from slovenia let's say italy but from slovenia where we're from where things might not you know people don't maybe take a risk like you do and go after things as much as you do so it's crazy to have you here i appreciate that it was like an intro which i i don't know if i deserve but yeah, yeah. <laughs> i try things you know That's nico likes to stay humble <laughs> uh, no yeah i don't like to i mean uh, just now I, I, I switched a bit, you know, I just, uh, tried to try it LinkedIn where you have to be like, I do this, I do that. <laughs> yeah. I don't like it because yeah. I think that, uh, when you start doing this, yeah. when you start doing this, perfect. Mm -hmm. Like, um, you somehow you stop growing. You know what I mean? When you start preaching, like, I'm good at this, I'm good at that. I'm, yeah. I'm perfect at this. Mm -hmm. And, um, that's why I try to like, keep it, keep it low at some things. And then I joke about like, I always joke with like, especially my family, with my mom. Like she's always like, Nico, slow down. Because I'm always like, I'll have a Lamborghini. Mm. Because that's, it's not that I like, I like it. Of course, but it's not like a goal. And when I get it, I like okay, yeah. everything, right? Yeah. It's just like a thing, which is, it's like, it's not easy to get it, you know? Yeah. And I'm just like, I'll have it in two years. And then mom's just like, Nico, please <laughs> come on, you know? Mm. So I. Are you I the combine. person that kind of writes their goals or has like new resolutions or you just kind of work every day towards something and you know um, it's going to happen? <laughs> I'm the person who listens to the podcasts, which they say that you have to write this down. Mm -hmm. I'm like, yes, I will <laughs> write this down and <laughs> I never write right. that down. So okay. I know that it's, it's very important. So if you listen to like write things down, but um, I don't know. I, I feel like um, those are like tasks almost, you know, resolutions are, are actually tasks to yeah, yourself for, sure. for the next year. And oh, when I write down tasks, I always want to finish them like now. Straight away. You know? So I don't know. I just, I'm, I'm bad at that, you know? So, yeah. I'm, I mean, same. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I, I'll touch on the intro slightly and say, you know, you're, you're very modest. Okay. Which is a, a good thing. But also, you inspire in, in ways probably you don't, you don't think. Um, you know, I think some things I've done, I've done, I'll like, take reference i think about this yesterday i'll take reference back to things you've done and i'm like okay nico did it fuck i better do it you know give me an example i don't know i just, I was, just going, say that. I was going through your content yesterday and i was just thinking some of the jumps you've made let's say with with the brands you've created and then i think i like to think or even maybe i do think if i was to do the rap i did in nyc about that camera like i think oh nico would maybe nico okay. would be like have you, why haven't you done it already? Yeah. Kind of vibe, you know, it's like, it's that kind of thing. And I, that's a good thing that you have about you. And I, whenever I look to something that I want to do or I have mm -hmm. done, I know that I could tell you about it or take inspiration from you, or it would be reciprocated in the same kind of way, if you know what I'm saying. Like, you have and an idea, you put it to paper, you do it. 
That's and one thing Garen mentioned yesterday, he was like, you know, I think Nico's the only person where it's like, he gets excited about smaller, big things that we do. Because I can tell you how my day was and you'd get excited. Yeah. Um, and we can tell you about the biggest projects and you'd get just as excited. And normally, not with everyone, this is something that happens because sometimes we meet people and we feel the pressure to tell them only about the best things. And if we mm -hmm. think it's not the most paid project, the biggest project, you're kind of like, oh, you know, you don't really know what to say. Whereas I think both Gareth and I are excited to tell you about the tiniest things that happened, mm. right? But I think that's because we have, I would say, like a very similar vision. Like we have similar goals. Mm -hmm. We are all you know, working towards them. Yeah. And I would even say that we're like kind of like growing together at yeah. some, like somehow you, you started much before me because we met l later, you know, with, with mm -hmm. Taya, of course. I knew about Taya before, but like the the point where you started like the, the line, you know, the graph started going up, I mm -hmm. think is the moving to London part, right? For yeah. you, right? That was a start for her for sure. Yes. And, the, and moving like there at what age? 19. 19, like crazy, you know? And those are the things which like switch things. I was, in my opinion, for me, it was the moment where I went to New York alone. You know, that was a trip when I, I told you about the scholarship stuff, blah, yeah. blah, you know? That was when I was 18. So I, I went to New York. It was like an American trip. I went there alone. You know, I was lucky to have friends who, um, you know, introduced me to other friends where I could like sleep there, you know. Mm -hmm. So it was financially, it was not so tough mm -hmm. as a trip. But like psychologically, it helped me grow a lot, I think, yeah. you know, being alone there, like seeing New York. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you see like the biggest things the ever, place. you know, yeah. and you experience like the best. Mm -hmm. And then you come back home and you're like, fuck, I want to be there. Like yeah. not there, but I want to like, I want to be experience on the level. More. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I want to like be better, be more. So if you stay like here in Sejana, mm -hmm. in this case yeah. or whatever, like Slovenia, it's, it's good. Yeah. But I think that if you want to expand your, your knowledge, your potential, everything, you everything. have to be a bit, you don't have to move yeah. forever you to there. See. You have to see you it. Have to see for some some time and yeah. then you know, your head goes like a bit more you know you meet people of course network yeah you learn things perfect and then yeah. just grow yeah i think i think we'll go back to all of this but yeah. like i think we should kick off and i think a good way to do it is like explain like where we are right now and why we're here yeah so that's that's one thing which um like grew my mind too like this trip <laughs> so we're we are at the one life rally offices mm -hmm. uh in slovenia uh we Explain work here what one life rally is so one life rally uh, is um well it's one life honestly it's more one life the rally word is sometimes a bit like miss uh miss how do you say misinterpreted it? misinterpreted perfect my english is good but not the best um so it's not like a race you know uh, it's just like a family of cars they it's not my project i'm just here as a marketing social media manager um they started like with 10 cars so they all gathered up, they got the, their cars like sticker, if you say that, right? Mm -hmm. With stickers, numbers, uh -huh. sponsors. And they did trips from city to city, like seven cities, seven days, uh, family vibes, enjoying like, you, you know, you sleep at, you know, you start in, let's say in Milan, Venezia, blah, blah, blah. blah. And, you know, they, from year to year, they grew a lot. You know, it's a very, maybe people know Gumball 3000. Mm -hmm. It's like, it's, the inspiration. It's, a, it's an inspiration, right? And, um, you know, at, right now I'm here for a year, actually. Yesterday was one year. Boy. Uh, first year. <laughs> so, yeah, I joined when we, when they were uh, preparing the winter rally, which we had last year in December, yeah. uh, which was like a bit more cozy, you know, smaller, smaller, like number of cars was 20 cars. We went from Portros, from Slovenia to mm -hmm. Cortina in, in Italy, and it was like they they were testing me out how mm -hmm. it yeah. how it works. But what made you even join in the first place? Oh, um, so the the CEO of the rally, Nick mm -hmm. Nick Papis, Nick Papic, <laughs> hey Nick. <laughs> so we are all from around here, you know. Yeah. Um, I I heard about One Life Friendly before already because of course you can't and you can't unhear about like s such cars here in Sajana mm -hmm. doing these events but I never knew how much they grew in the past years and then uh, last year in the in summer in the summer like period uh, in Slovenia they gave you like um, it was like a bonus for during the corona to buy things in a library like you had like 150 euros that you could spend on buying books Mm -hmm. you know every student and i it was like the last day 
to use it. So it was the last day I could like use it or just like lose the money. Use it or lose it. Yes. Yeah. And I went to the city center in Ljubljana, which, where I studied at that time. And uh, randomly, like One Life Rally was there in Ljubljana. <laughs> you know, the, it was like the time when uh, Andrew Tate was on the rally. You know, this might, we should put like a beep. So the, <laughs> the um, and it was like, that was the craziest event so far for them. It was like 15 to 20,000 people in Ljubljana, everyone waiting for the crazy, cars. Crazy. And experience, like I, I went there like randomly. I didn't know they are coming at, on that day. And I saw like all those cars, Andrew Tate coming, uh, like simulators on like, like positioned yeah. on the street, uh, hostesses everywhere, it merged. Uh, I was like, wow, like a guy from Sejana can, can do this. Mm -hmm. And it's funny because they were parked on the street where it's actually the most echo green street in Ljubljana. Uh -huh. And you put like supercars there, huh? which are not green at all. Yeah. You, know I mean? <laughs> yeah. you know, so like politically and everything, like doing this, crazy, you know. And that's when I kind of felt the vibe of this, and I didn't know we we're gonna work uh, mm -hmm. in future together. I had another project, Overloud, you know, podcast mm -hmm. about sneakers, Slovenian podcast, like building a community. We were quite yeah. good at that, and um, like this were the two facts which started, and then randomly, Marco. Platerski, shout out to Marco too. So Marco is a photographer from for, Sejana. From Sejana, who works for One Life Rally too. Yes. So our whole team, core team is like, we're all from here around, you know, Sejana and like a bit out. But... So he told me that they need a storage place. The story is like, I'm sorry if that's confusing, but <laughs> so they need a storage place for all the, you know, the flags, the mm -hmm. blah, 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 blah. And our family company has place to store those things yeah and we we're like you can you can come over you know you can see if it's good for you and we can do it mm -hmm. they came over they were like we need this yes let's take it and they then they saw me so nick knew me already like you know just like visually visually yeah. but he never spoke to me and then on that day when we started moving things to our family company we spoke with nick about what i do i do podcasts like i do the social media stuff blah 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 and he was like, nice, so you could help us. I was like, well, depends what you need, but yeah. yes, I guess, you know. And he was like, okay, come to our our office uh, tomorrow. They had the offices yet in Ljubljana at the time, still mm -hmm. in Ljubljana. And, um, you know, we had the meeting, like we sat down, like, what did you do? What do you do? What are your goals? And that's that's how we, boom, mm -hmm. magic happened. So. Okay, wow. Wow. That's a cool story. Yeah, super, is, super. And you're basically, we'll, we'll, we'll come back here, but just to set the preface, you're the social media manager, essentially. Yes. And, and yeah. creator. Yes. Yeah. 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 And I guess the main thing is that you've helped One Life Rally basically grow, grow lots Double. of followers. Double and basically and triple. Lots maybe. of views. And it's not just about numbers, but that also means that you're very good at psychology of people. Yeah. That you know what are good hooks. That you know how social, yes. That's essentially yeah. Yeah. what it's all about. That's, so, that's the most important thing. Yeah. But yeah. what would Community. you say makes a viral video? And what oh. would you say, anyone watching, I'm sure <laughs> I, I can say for myself, like anyone wants, everyone wants to grow their personal brand or any brand. And I would love to also hear the story of your first viral video, because I think it was the most random thing. Yeah. But that just show how, shows how good you are making viral videos so give us all the juice <laughs> so the formula for the viral video is very okay. simple take notes so, no i'm kidding there's no formula but um so my first viral video first two viral videos which happened like on the same day it was like pure luck yeah. i i didn't know what i was doing i was just trying to have a memory for myself yeah and i was not connected to one life rally at all at that time it was just like um the, the, the yacht yeah. uh, video, right? So, yeah, I saw that, like, uh, I studied design, industrial design, you know, and uh, at some point during my high school or university, we had mentioned, like, this yacht, like, Yacht A, which is uh, designed by uh, the designer Stark. He's mm -hmm. a designer, like, super, like, quite known in the design fields, blah, mm -hmm. blah. And I knew about these two yachts that he designed, like the yacht A and then the other one, which is not like a sail. This, this one has sails, mm -hmm. which, which they cannot use, mm -hmm. fun fact. But okay. And this one with the sails, it was in, in Slovenia, in yeah. Koper, you know? Mm -hmm. and which is 
20 minutes yeah, away like from us. <laughs> 20 minutes away, right? And um, I was like, I, I have to see it because I saw some videos and pictures like this, the scale of a human with the yacht. Yeah. And like, it, it looks unreal. like so unreal. <laughs> yeah. It's like uh, so, part, I don't know how to describe it. It's like when you see the pictures, the videos, it's like, wow, wow. Yeah. It's scary a bit, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and I was like, I want to, we have to try to see it like from up closer, like maybe like try it a bit closer, like just go down in Copper, you know, that place where it was parked and just like maybe film it because it was still like- Like two times zoom on iPhone, you know? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Film, film on iPhone, yeah. you know? And, um, and I, I told this to my uncle and he was like, well, you can film it from Copper, you can go there, but we have a boat. Mm. You know, let's take the boat. What a and good combo. <laughs> let's let's get like two minutes. That's a away good from uncle, it. okay? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he is. He is. And uh, yeah, like no hesitation. Sat down in the car. Me, my uncle, my two brothers went down. Like, and I was just like recording. And fun fact, at that time, I, I recorded everything on on TikTok. So, in the app. Yep. No. Everything on the app. So all the transitions you, that you you can yeah. see, you know, it was like I was just, like, and then <laughs> stop, you know, and. Um, <laughs> And yeah, like we, wow. everything was, and then I put like the, the voice, which was at that time was popular, you know. We, voice over? No, no, just like the, the, the TikTok effect. voice. Oh, we actually, yes. we actually went to see the biggest yeah. sale, the most expensive yeah. sale on earth, you know? Yeah. And then it was just like the music, which was catchy, I guess. So yeah. it was like a bit like the, the, the vibe was like a bit creepy, mm -hmm. but you know, the five minutes craft music, yeah. you know, kind of vibe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, we went there like with the boat, boom got to the to the yacht and it was crazy and that's where i recorded the first viral video and i posted those in like a 20 minute span i, I remember like now the night i posted them yeah. and the first one didn't go so viral at the beginning but then i posted like this video where uh when we were just a couple of meters away from the yacht there was mm -hmm. somebody watching us you know mm -hmm. <laughs> and it was like i don't know the security or something like nobody you know but yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, again it was like the creepy vibe like the, the song again in the background and like yeah they together they got like what 25 million views on tiktok mm -hmm. That's crazy. they grew my account for like thirty-five thousand followers i was on uh, lad bible um like all those meme big meme pages i remember they posted you posting on your stories being like getting hundreds and hundreds of dms and messages yeah. hey can we post your video yeah. we will credit you and yeah. i remember telling you like no you should be paid for this yeah <laughs> you know? yeah yeah, yeah. Like, so big pages yeah yeah it's crazy so a few things that we learned now. So when it comes to viral videos, especially then, so it was... You need a boat. Yeah, <laughs> you need a boat. Yeah, you need a, <laughs> no. you know, uh, what's that, like 60, cool 60 million uh, yeah. gold? <laughs> <laughs> no, so I guess transitions is the main thing, using the right audio, I guess, viral audio. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say the transitions. I okay. think that the key, in my opinion, and what I think the, differentiates, that's the word, right? Mm -hmm. My work from from other people, I yeah. think it's the music, like the vibe that okay. you create with your video. Of course you have trends which will make your video viral like more easily in yeah. a way, but like a video like that, which was not a trend, was not something yeah. like, it's like giving the vibe, like yeah. as you said before, I, I like psychology. So everything you do with social media, with everything actually, mm -hmm. you should always think about psychology, how people would react to that video, yeah. what would they feel, mm -hmm. think, um, you know, like, because I think that all those, all those videos, because even like later the videos were like, um, they create mixed feelings, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, so you have comments which are like, oh, nice, g g great job. You went to the, to the <laughs> yeah. yacht, crazy. Then you have, you were so stupid. They're going to kill you because that's yeah, like super yeah. security. Then you have, um, what happened then? Then have comments like, so it all brings, you know, the, yeah, the engagement, engagement. Yeah engagement and that's that's what makes the video like grow 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 well, and more comments about it yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah but the comments it's funny i i found out that if you call the viewer to comment the vi your video that's not like even if you get like ten thousand comments it's not gonna like the algorithm is so smart yeah yeah you know they they the understand they understand that you asked your yeah. followers to comment so yeah, it's exactly. gonna be like okay yeah. so what about the caption what is it and what about hashtags I think I, it's lucky, right? Uh, it, it's all the caption is like I I, nev, I was never like, good. almost like some sort of call to action. Let's say, what did you use with those videos? Or Honestly, maybe... I don't remember. Okay, I don't remember. But uh, it's the hashtags. It was once. It was like this on TikTok. It was the less hashtags, the better, because yeah. it was like kind of each hashtag has its own bubble, you yeah. know, yes. of people which yeah. watch that hashtag. Yeah. And if you put like 
imagine like the like the bubbles like you put mm -hmm. two bubbles so you have hashtag for your page yeah. hashtag viral yeah. and then you have those two bubbles so if you put those two hashtags people who watch both hashtags yeah. we all will only see you not the ones who only see one or yeah. the other hashtag yeah. Make sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then if you put like 50 hashtags, you know, the bubble in yeah. the middle, you know, yeah. you, you, it doesn't work. It, yeah, exactly. The circle yeah. basically gets yeah. yeah. So I think that SEO right now, it's all about uh, what people can search. Yeah. So you, you have TikTok to- TikTok is essentially now yeah. a search engine. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Past videos. Yep. I was like, I listened to some podcasts and like, uh, it, it is like people, younger generations, like even us like going on know? TikTok to find yeah to find the like it's either like ChatGPT or, or TikTok, TikTok yeah. basically yeah yeah the thing is that it's not it's I don't think it's ChatGPT or TikTok it's Google or TikTok yeah because you know I mean? they want to see a yeah. representation of what they want to learn or know yes. about so if they can find they can find text yeah but if they want to have a video of course TikTok's going to deliver it to them and they're going to watch yeah. it this way rather than that yeah. way yes so it's just easier to consume and it's faster and it's yes. boom 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 and there's multiple videos of course more engaging and there's more everything. underneath the video uh, above the videos is other types of searches which relate to that search so they can be there you can learn something on tiktok like learn on tiktok which was the first major hashtag the yep. the the, the, uh, the platform had is just literally turned into that now because you can learn about one thing and then spend half an hour learning mm. about that and then an hour and then your day's <laughs> gone but you've learned <laughs> so much because it's, it's what it is it's yep. literally educational platform now yeah because like right now if you it's a good example is like a restaurant you want to go eat some yeah. somewhere like yeah. I, I still like google that place yeah. i don't use yeah. tiktok honestly but i know that a lot of people that they go on tiktok to see like how how it looks because if it's a popular restaurant it's right. gonna there's gonna be videos yeah. right and then you can get the feel yeah, yeah. So like, but I think that right now, Instagram is doing a bit better in this thing, kind mm -hmm. of. I feel like still the virality, if, if, if a video will go viral, it's gonna go viral much better like on TikTok, much easier. Yeah. yeah. I wanted to ask what's the difference? Cause let's say with One Life, you post everything on TikTok and on Instagram. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So how do you see the performance, the difference in yeah, performance? Is it the same videos on both? Yes. yes. And yeah. do you do every and something different when you post on individual apps? Like uh, the thing I do, which like differs maybe Instagram from TikTok, uh, from mm -hmm. TikTok is just some videos which are more specific, like which feel sponsored or mm -hmm. which are too cinematic. I don't even post them on TikTok because I know that people don't care about cinematic yeah. things on TikTok. Okay. They don't care. Yeah. If it's like too good, if they see it's like next level, too produced. it's it's so so stupid to hear this, but people don't appreciate Guys, that. I'm just, I'm just gonna. Yeah, no, <laughs> no but, <laughs> but, it, but then again, there's that there's that argument then of like let's say the the lucky the luck of the draw, or you know, just going back to the hashtag thing and caption some videos with no hashtags. Oh, pop and no caption even. <laughs> You go there, you're like 20 million likes. You're like, what's this girl doing? Yeah, her feet off the edge. Yeah. <laughs> you, you have no, yeah. It's it's funny because you have some videos of like of, of a bread standing, and it's like the music, like da, 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 da. yeah, and they're just standing like that. No, no, yeah. like, Twenty million views, oh, no, yeah. or, or it likes whatever. Yeah, you yeah, know. yeah. It's it's. Um, I, don't I hear know. what you mean with the cinematic. The way I looked at it was is that I would look at TikTok as more of like going back to the educational thing. So if it was something where you're teaching someone something, I'd be more inclined previously to post that on TikTok first. I'd still post it on Instagram, mm -hmm. but I wouldn't post a cinematic piece on TikTok because mm -hmm. I don't think that's the place for it. Yeah. So yeah, I agree with what a, you're saying. An example, after movie, mm -hmm. you know, you have an after movie or an after movie reel, something which yeah. like lasts for 45 seconds, yeah. which is still like a solid, not, not too long, blah, mm -hmm. blah. Well, the after movie vibe on TikTok is not gonna perform. Mm. Yeah. For sure. You know, again, like it depends how psychologically you go in. Like maybe you put some hooks in the beginning, blah, blah, yeah. blah. So people get, you know, it has to be somehow. Yeah, yeah. But if you just go for like the cinematic like um song in the background and just like, you know, be your roles and stuff, no. You know, and then like the a good example was the last like right now when we were in Kenya, we posted like the lion prank video. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you have mm -hmm. seen that. Mm -hmm. Like on on TikTok. It tell got, tell the viewers what the the video. Yeah, so we were we were in Kenya and um, with One Life with One Life Rally, mm -hmm. of course, and uh, we were eating lunch at like a specific place where you know, of course, Kenya, you know, safari vibes <laughs> in the safari. Uh, we just set like a picnic, you know, in like in the movies when when you sit on a blanket, you know, mm -hmm. you open the you know the, the basket like yeah, super yeah. cozy, <laughs> and there was no fence around, so it means that you could easily have like a lion or an elephant or anything pass by, attack you, 
say hi or something, you know? <laughs> Whatever it happens. But we had, like, the security was all around. People on the video don't, don't didn't see this, but, like, there was, like, I don't know, 20 people around with guns, with everything. Yeah. We were super safe, you know? But, uh, like, at some point, we were like, Nick, again, Nick, mm -hmm. Bapis, like, he came to me. He was like, Nick, we should do, like, a prank. I was like, what, what, what kind of prank? I was like trying to film everything for the stories, like to, to make it good. And he was like, we should do like a lion prank. I was like, okay, yeah, okay, good. But <laughs> he's like, you know, maybe I should, or you should like start screaming like lion coming, you know? Because I was like, yeah, it's, that's good. But you know, it's, it's not legit. You know, why would I start screaming right now here? Like lion coming, oh my God. He was like, <laughs> In the, I was, I was like, maybe we should speak with the, with the guards mm. yeah. and ask them to do this, you know, yeah. because they were all like super friendly, super cool people. And then Nick went to the guards. He was like, you know, guys, we want to do a prank. And you're like, yeah, of course. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. And then we were all set, like the whole media team, like everyone was filming, you know, and then the guy with, with the gun, he was like, line coming, line coming. And the people didn't understand maybe because of the accent or something, or oh. maybe, and then faster, faster, line coming. And then they were like, oh my God. And then they they started running, you know, the guy with the hat, that's Cerny, you know, that's one of the um, influencers, like from, from Belgrade. Yeah. Uh, he, he ran for his life. He was like <laughs> all in. He was like, I'm not going to die today. No way. No way. He was like, boom, you know? And like when they were all in the cars, the only one guy was like, he just like was sitting there, like watching around, like what's happening. Well, that guy would die in case the lion actually would, <laughs> would, yeah, talk, would come you know? <laughs> And then at the end, he was like, you saw? I know it was, I knew it was a prank. I knew it was a prank. I was like, yeah, good, but you know, it's not. Oh my God. And yeah, that video, like on, it performed well on both platforms, but like numbers wise, we have 140,000 followers on Instagram and 135,000 followers on TikTok. Cool. Yeah. So close. Yeah, it's <laughs> close. And on TikTok, it got, we had to post it twice because it was, I don't know for what reason it was deleted before. Yeah. So in total, it got like, well, 10, 10 million views actually, you know? <laughs> yes. So it's like, it's quite, uh, okay, quite so a... we need boats and lions. Yeah. <laughs> lions, yes, yeah, write down, write this down, write this down. Yeah. <laughs> boats and lions, guys. <laughs> Get that down. Half, you're halfway there. <laughs> yeah. uh, and on Instagram, it got like 700,000, which is still good yeah. for Instagram. Like comparing to our followers, you know, it's, it's good. It's good. Can you tell me something before you joined One Life and now, how many followers did they have? Yeah, so what's how much graph? have you grown one life? So in one year, you know? Exactly. Um, one year, yeah. When I joined, Instagram had 67,000 followers. Okay. Mm -hmm. And TikTok had 18,000 followers. So... And, was, and let's say the the uh, when both accounts were started, was it the same time? No, no, they started TikTok much later. Much later. Uh, just like before I joined, it was like, they started during the summer rally, which is the one I saw in Ljubljana, you know, mm -hmm. they had the rally... I don't know where was it from, and that doesn't matter. Like 2022 rally, they started the TikTok because of course you have so much potential. Mm -hmm. It's, I wouldn't say it's easy to be a um, social media guy for, for such mm -hmm. a company, but it's much easier than being a social media manager for a, uh, like, I don't know. For a garden or, compost brand. Yes, yes. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. Because of course you have cool cars, but it's funny that if you it's post- It's already exciting yes, itself, yeah, right? Yes, yeah, it's exciting. Sex sells, you know, the cars yes. are yeah. sexy. So. But the thing is that they don't, like even if you post, like sometimes I try to post things like that, you know, cars are sexy, right? And yeah. you post them just like, you know, the roll of the slow motion Ferrari driving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, they don't care about that, no. yeah. you know? But maybe on the other side, if somebody else posted that, like, I don't know, maybe if you recorded that and post that on your, uh TikTok, maybe yeah. it would be like oh shit, good shot like yeah, nice yeah, thing, yeah. you know so on our profile like people people are used to good cars so they yeah. expect from us more yeah. than cool cars nice. so that that's why we try then to do like pranks then we did mm -hmm. like on and on the winter rally the first one i joined like one month after after i i joined the team one life team we made the i don't know if you know the 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 girl the small girl like on the snow and there was like a table and there was like uh, the song da, da, da. Da, 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 da. Well, she was like dancing and she was like, you know, doing this yeah. and it's like super viral sound. Right. Okay. And I was like, we have to recreate this. <laughs> we were like a bit late already, but I was like, we have a crazy car. We had the six by six G -Wagon. Uh, G Wagon. We had that car, which has a lot of space on the back. We mm. had like uh, 12, 20 cars means 40 people, 40 drivers, which can be on the car and like dance. Like <laughs> that, you know? We had like the, the sound system for everything. And then I was like, let's do this video, please. Like they were like, yes, we'll try, but I didn't catch that thing. Then the sound didn't work. So last minute when we almost went 
like away from the winter rally, I was like, please guys, let's do it. And the difference was that I made like, I, I made like the, the sketch of like waking up to this song. I was like, what's going on? And then I went out <laughs> of the wind of, and they, all of, and the they were all partying on the, <laughs> yeah, on the car, know. like, you know, and that video got like, yeah, 3 million views. On Instagram? On, on TikTok. I on didn't TikTok. even, okay. on, on Instagram, I don't know if even if I posted that. Uh, I, I don't know. So. Ah, one question. What about iPhone and camera content? Do you see a difference in engagement? Well, fun fact, the prank, uh, the prank video was, f uh, is actually a camera footage. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, yeah, so. But that's the story that sold that, the, that yeah, video, you know? Yeah, that, yeah, and that's yeah, the yeah. difference. Whereas uh, if you had like a clip, let's say, of uh, uh, turning up in Belgrade or turning up in, in uh in in kenya and all of the crowd let's mm. say have you any videos like they're quite similar shot but shot on different cameras and have they but i guess it's also about the content right yeah because if you had the same clips of the audience both might perform well yeah. because of what they are but i'm guessing because there's, there's this there's this sort of thing right now where is the you know iphone content performs or smartphone content i mean gareth and i've tried it ourselves performs better than we camera yeah. content and i I just think it's back to the luck or back to the the, the story or the style of video. Or I guess also consistency, because if I posted a video right now with my phone, my op, it would probably perform horrible because my audience is used to me posting high quality stuff, degraded, but then, but then it, fully but then, produced. But then if it got a million views, you'd be like, fuck, I'll sell my I'd Sony. Cry. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'd be literally upset. Sony, <laughs> it is. Like, like, you would be like, oh my God, yeah. what is this? But I think it's... um. You know what? Yeah, I think that iPhone, especially iPhone, I wouldn't say like smartphone. I would say iPhone, yeah. honestly. If you want to be like a social media, no, sure. whatever, yeah. iPhone, no other phone. Yeah, for okay. sure. Um, Try not to be maybe, discriminative there, yeah. but <laughs> Even iPhone, Google, is, Google iPhone, Pixel iPhone is, is good, king. But, <laughs> iPhone is king. <laughs> but let's not fuck around. It yeah. makes it easier, you know? Yeah. yeah. To, because if you have a camera, I think that if I could, I would I would go with the camera honestly because it it the like psychologically it it's so the emotions uh, everything like the slow motions from the sure, camera it's like sure. wow you know yeah. but you know but pick up a phone and press and record yeah. is boom, right you're done feel but the only even if after like in the after process you know mm -hmm. right on the f iPhone you just film it I do like CapCut yeah. CapCut is Wow! Yeah, go to wow! It, yeah. Sponsor you, you Nico, put, please at yeah, this point. <laughs> please, Kafka. No, just like you put like a song, like emotional song with the crowd. Yeah. Boom. Done. Yeah. Like a bit of colors. Ta, 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 ta. Yeah, of course. People don't care about colors, you know. And then on the other side, you <laughs> yeah, have. Yeah, that's another. <laughs> that's another thing. Like ungraded <laughs> footage performs this better. Is, at this point, this is no, just the roast I'm, I'm saying about no. I'm saying about the stories. No, sorry, I'm, I'm, sorry. I'm, I'm saying about stories. <laughs> I'm genuinely fucking around. <laughs> She's okay, guys. <laughs> <laughs> no, but don't say that. Don't <laughs> say that ever again. Ever. This is not being posted. <laughs> no, but um, <laughs> when I was because when you when you process the footage that you record with your camera, yeah, first you see it when you film it, right? Then yeah. you have to put it on your on laptop, yeah. find it. You see it second yeah. time. Then you put it on Premiere yeah. or DaVinci, whatever. Yeah. Third time. Then you go with colors. You have to go through it like yeah, 20 so, times. It's a, a week-long process. <laughs> yeah, okay, <but> anyways. <laughs> yes. we and, get it. and then you're, you're like, even you get bored from it at, at yeah. some point, I guess, right? <laughs> they have like these phone editors, right? man. <laughs> yeah. And that's why I think that sometimes... No, I agree. I, I, and I, t I used to, when I started, I would film with my camera, right? like social media, let's say TikTok, when I started, I filmed my camera. I would send the file to my phone. And even though I had a premiere and everything, edit it on my phone, and then just, because it was easier just to post yes, from there, right? Yes, yes. And whereas now, like we were having talked about this the other day, the only thing I really film and edit on my phone is to say UK shooters stories yes. from events, or if mm. we do something cool, yeah. go somewhere cool, I'll boom, 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 and then edit it, post it. Boom, mm. boom, boom. Whereas, I, but I totally agree with the, the, the thought process of the speed yeah. of it. Nico, why did you guys choose Kenya in the first place to go there? And how does it feel to come to the airport and get recognized in the gym? How does it feel to have your face on billboards? Yeah. Well, they weren't on billboards <laughs> actually, on, on TV. <laughs> <laughs> future, future. Yeah, see you, the first Slovenian Prime Minister of Kenya. <laughs> no, it was... I mean, basically. <laughs> well, I can imagine. <laughs> no, it's, that's maybe more, um, Nick would maybe give you like a more specific answer to that, like again, the CEO. But uh, from the story, like, we had some connections there and they reached out Kenya, actually the government, they wanted 
one life rally to organize something there to um to bo- like promote the ter- tourism of course yeah you know boost it boost it yeah yes and they saw what what they or we do you know in europe mm-hmm. and they were like guys you should try to bring this to kenya on, on a level you know um there are more details to this maybe in future if you're gonna do a podcast with nick he's a good guy yeah uh but there's like you a, have the, sp- the coolest space to oh, do yeah. it in. you're always nick, welcome by the way <laughs> <laughs> um and even in the after movie it's gonna be like m- maybe a bit more described uh yeah. which is i think coming out soon i hope okay. um but like then after accepting this offer or somehow like s- working things out uh we had like even antonio from uh, he's an italian italian guy yeah but he he's in kenya he's been in kenya for the past as i understood like 25 years 30 years so he knows you know nairobi wow, and all the okay. kenya and so it was like a bit of yeah. Thank God we had those people around us, mm-hmm. I think. And well, for sure, made the whole process a lot easier yeah, for you. Yeah. yeah. And then, you know, working it out because, you know, it, it's easy to say we're going to Kenya, mm-hmm. but it's, as they say, it's easier said than, than it's done. Easier said than done yeah. Because then we had to bring, you know, cars like mm-hmm. Ferraris, yeah. Porsches, Lamborghinis by containers yeah. on ships to Kenya, from Slovenia to Kenya, or like the Lamborghini Urus was, was it, it well, flew yeah. from, from Belgium to Kenya, yeah. Yeah. you know, and convin- convincing, kind of selling this event to the drivers, the owners of the cars yeah. to yeah. say, yes, I need to go to Kenya and drive my Ferrari in Kenya, yeah. you know? So but then I remember, you, I remember you saying that you were gonna do the rally there, but let's just to give some context, from the idea when you guys knew about it to, going how long was that process it was like um i think it was like a year okay. not not so long it was like a year so it was in the pipeline before, probably before you started working for them maybe yeah it was mm-hmm. an idea. they were they were they were talking about this before mm-hmm. um but then like working on it actually it's like in the process where i was already here yeah, yeah. i wasn't like so i was in the again in the marketing part mm-hmm. the logistics you know we have the girls here like i, don't, I can even imagine working on this like on the yeah. it's papers a uh, it's warranties a yeah. and how that and so how the cars how many people have have basically been involved in been this involved project. this yeah well bringing everything the to internal life. one life team it's only like five of us okay mm-hmm. so it's and not then hiring i guess freelancers or people on contract yes freelancers like for for video yeah you know we brought um I think we were like the, our team was like in like maybe ten, you okay. know. Then we tried to get some local people too because the goal in the end is to help the local, like even like boost the, the, the economy, economy the economy and everything. You know, yeah. we tried to do our best this year, but it was tough because we didn't know where we are going, mm-hmm. how it's going to look. We know that for future events, if we're going to organize, you know, the hey, you hadn't there, even been there before yeah. any of you not you but even nick hadn't been there he, he was there he was he okay. was there he saw somehow how it looks but the problem is and I, I i don't think it's just kenya like um everywhere like a new location where you go you have you get a lot of like um people which they try to sell you things you mm-hmm. know and even yeah. in kenya we got a lot of offers of like videographers photographers i can bring you sponsors i can help you this i can mm-hmm. help you that and at some point you have people who can actually help you but you don't know who you can bring on board yeah. because they see an opportunity in you sometimes and it's normal yeah. i would be the same you know what i mean mm-hmm. uh you know bringing ferraris to kenya like yeah. please let me be a photographer Involved, for you, you know yeah. but that's why we try to keep it like more inside yes and now that we know now that we all have the experience we know what we did good what mm-hmm. we did bad mm-hmm. uh, what would you say has been the biggest lesson you've learned through just from the whole kenya experience because there was how many people did end up being involved in those 10 days, however long you were there? You, you, what do you mean? In like, the team. In the team? No, uh, the, oh, the people, people the spectators actually came. The spectators. Yeah, like a uh, visitor. Well, like the visitors, the yeah. Fans. So the thing is that even like in Kenya, just like in Europe, we made like this concept of going to seven places. Yeah. We, we do seven countries here in Europe. We, we made seven counties cities mm-hmm. like, mm-hmm. yeah. yeah safaris you know in kenya so we started in nairobi and then that was um the only location where we announced our public event okay so we make public events too even here in europe you know so we're gonna be there we leave our cars there people yeah. can watch the cars <laughs> take pictures in the cars yeah. drivers let the kids get in the cars drive mm-hmm. the cars it's a bit different you know the, mm-hmm. it's connecting people you know of because course. on the other on other rallies you know the cars are parked please just 
watch yeah. from I mean, far. I can't even like imagine, show. like, yeah. Yeah, but, to a car event. Both, yeah. both concepts are under, understandable because, yes. of course, those cars are expensive. You, know? you, you do something, a, a wrong move. Yeah. It's What's like the most pounds. expensive car you guys had in Kenya? In Kenya, uh, well, I'd say the Ferrari 458. Which yeah. is what two hundred thousand, two fifty? Uh, I think it's more. I'm not. I'm not so much into this. Uh, I don't know the information. I think it's around three hundred. Yeah. Okay, three hundred grand. Around, cool. um, but yeah, in, in, and that's in Nairobi. The, the only uh, public event there is like one hundred thousand people. You know, <laughs> one hundred thousand. So you took a hundred thousand selfies in one day. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, imagine, <laughs> mate, record imagine, break. Imagine. Yeah. No, it was. It was funny. I, I, I tell everyone who you know who we talk about Kenya with uh, this story about you know. We, we started the marketing campaign um, a month before the event, you know, we had everything ready. And then we started posting, like announcing the cars that are, that are mm -hmm. coming to Kenya, the people that are coming mm -hmm. to Kenya and where are we stopping? And one of the videos, which was posted like 10 days before the, uh, the Nairobi public event was me sitting like down in the, in the detailing part saying, and I, I made that video very strategically, you know, we, I have to tell them where we're going to be so where can where can they see the ferrari and all the cars tell them that the event is free because all our events everywhere we we, we go are free mm -hmm. and you know tell them that we're going to give away free gadgets you know yeah. 500 free gadgets and that video went crazy that mm -hmm. one that one was on on tv on x on TikTok. like people downloaded the video post on their accounts promoted the video so wow. it was like crazy like they did our marketing somehow you know, this is the genius way to yes, do it. Like yes. I think Prime is yes. a good example. We were yeah. speaking about this at the latest million dollar challenge or million. Do you Prime. know about it? Yep. It's uh, it's just insane. it's okay. Make us make videos for us yeah. so we yes. can repost or whatever just to have yes. videos. Yes, and that's how you know we we went like Kenya. Every everyone in Kenya, everyone knew about us. They were like, okay, mm -hmm. the Ferrari in the, the Porsche, middle of the desert. There was one guy under a tree. <laughs> He knew. Fun yeah. fact, it took like the the Maasai, the Maasai tribe, they want to take a, a selfie with me. Like they are people who, they live. The, they're you know, literally tribal. Yes. Wow. And they were like, they, they were speaking with one of the girls who was with us to take a selfie and I was crazy, you know? And, and you're and still yes, repping now, you know? Yes, of course. Yeah. Kenya, always. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, when we, when we were there, like on the day of the event, as you said, like when we went down the, the airplane, there was one guy already like recognizing us because of the t-shirts, you know, yeah. then the security, then the, everyone. And um, then when we headed to the public event the next day, you know, on, in Nairobi, I was me and Nick, we were driving the Ferrari. And uh, already, you know, when you're driving on the streets in Kenya, it's a bit chaotic, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? They have the, the right, like in England, in the UK, yeah. yeah. So it's a bit tough. And then as we were getting closer and closer, I didn't know about it. yeah, they, me neither. Like I didn't know that. I knew about Australia and where we, we live. Um, but There's not many. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. But I think Africa is the whole of Africa. I don't know. I think South I don't Africa know. is the same. Kenya for sure. Yeah, I think yeah. Africa is the same, actually. Okay. Yeah. And as we were getting closer to the event, like there were more and more people like on the streets, like waving at us, mm -hmm. like one life, you know, and I was like filming the oh live. Oh my God. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> it's me, God. Yeah. No, and yeah, but that is funny. The th funny thing is that I, I, I got a lot of comments on Instagram and TikTok, like in Swahili, you know. Uh -huh. And then I started like Googling what's, what things mean, because I saw that they mentioned a lot of Nico and a lot of, mm -hmm. and I was like, they, of course, okay, they know me because I, somehow I, that's, it's my face on the videos, mm -hmm. but yeah. I don't know how they know my name, you know? Mm -hmm. And Nico in Swahili means I'm here, <laughs> you know? So I'm here. Yeah. And so I, they're I, saying to their friend, hey, Nico. Yeah. And Nico's like, what? I'm like, <laughs> yeah. Who are you? <laughs> that's, that, that's the thing. That's the thing because when we, when we came. Uh, real Scott down. <laughs> you know, everybody hears Nico, Nico. He's like, oh my God. And they're just like, I'm here. But, <laughs> yes, no, but actually it was like that because when we, when we, when we came to the event, like there, there was like thousands of people already like waiting for us and Ferrari, Ferrari. <laughs> Nico echoing in the air. <laughs> yeah. And I went out of the Ferrari. I stepped out and they were all like, Nico, Nico. And I was like, I was like, I, I was recording with the, with the glasses, the matter glasses and the phone. And I was, because I thought they were like looking at the, at the camera. I was like, yes, I see you. Nice. Good. <laughs> I see that you're here, right? Thank you. And they were like, Nico, Nico, picture, picture. I was like, wait, me, Nico? And I, yes, picture, please, picture. I was like, okay, sure. Wow. <laughs> you know? That's crazy. That's and, and that was funny, like funny and because it was super cool. Because How many I, selfies do you think you've taken? I think it was like 200. 
more. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Oh. Because I was recording everything with the glasses. Get this guy a blue tick, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, I paid for it. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. I tell me, tell me why are you paying for the blue tick? I paid for it because I wanted to Because um, he's got accounts made up, you know, fake accounts made after him now. Oh <laughs> yeah. yeah that's, that's the, you know. <laughs> yeah, page, you know, because um it was like tactical. I posted like a video, I don't know if you remember the the LA video on with the helicopter and uh, I I made like the animation like uh, select your flight type and it was Alex Choi Blah, blah. Yeah, yeah. I, I was trying to uh, get to him easier mm -hmm. than without it. Right. And do because you think having a blue tick helps you reach people that you normally yes. wouldn't be able yes, to Yes, because I'm, I'm looking at this from my perspective. Mm -hmm. I'll be like this. Buying a blue tick is stupid. Super honest. It's mm -hmm. stupid because it's like an... Uh, an ego move. Yeah. Having it, I, I see a lot of profiles. Even I have ten thousand followers. Was that like blue tick? Why? Come on, man! Like you don't. Need I mean, there's it. people I we know it. that have a thousand and they got it. Yes, and less. That's what I want to say. Like you have less, like than that. And I understand. You know, it's like a status. It was. It was a status yeah. on Instagram. But right now, as I said, like looking from my perspective on One Life Rally, we got like from the moment we started the Kenya campaign, we got thousands. Thousands of DMs. I'm not. I'm not kidding. We got. I think like twenty thousand DMs for people from Kenya. Like, uh, welcome. Uh, thank you for coming. You are the best. And you know, I tried to reply to some of them, but it was chaotic. Mm. And who I replied to, like the like who I was checking, the people with the blue tick. Because when you scroll, you have so many people, and then you have ah, okay, blue tick. Let me see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah who yeah, knows? Yeah. yeah. Right. And then you go up, and then you see four hundred followers, and then he's just like, hey, oh, okay, skip. Yeah. But I mean, yeah, this is what hey, what I do classic. because I don't. I I reply to every single comment and I try to reply to every single message I get, but it's always if I was to check who followed me, which I do probably once every four days, I just quickly scroll through. And what I normally look at is if there's someone that followed me that I'm already following. So I just look at the color, if there's anything, you know, when mm -hmm, it says follow, it's sort of follow. And the second thing is every blue single tick. person that follows me that has a blue tick, I genuinely look. So I do understand why. That's and I got a lot of even when I when the moment I bought it I post a story it's just a test don't be mad you know just pre joke <laughs> because I, I I like to joke with my profile the of personal course, one of course and um, like you I tried to reply to everyone on my profile like in Kenya was chaotic like same Makes as sense. not 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 as on one life rally but I got a lot of DMs like people tagging and stuff and yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I even right now sorry for if I didn't reply to somebody <laughs> I'm sorry like it's literally so but no it's not that I'm famous <laughs> no. I'm just stupid I'm just stupid that, that's that's the only thing and. Um, Yes, that's the that's my opinion. Okay, cool. I, I kind of liked that was a good tangent. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Would you say that everything you've done for Kenya and the way everything happens and the things you know go back to your tasty days? A big thing that you've done was um, made a turn basketball tournament happen in like three days because you had the opportunity to do it in Piazza Dunita, which is explain what that is. Yeah, it's like um, maybe a picture of, of that would be good. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's like a plaza. I call it yeah, like it's a plaza. plaza yeah. You know, in, in, tri plaza, in Trieste, yeah. Yeah. you know, it's like uh, quite known for locals here. You know, uh, Slovenians like like to come there, drink aperols, <laughs> spritz mm -hmm. there, you know, and yeah. cappuccino and everything. Yeah. It's like a cool place. It's, expensive cappuccino. Yeah, very yeah. expensive, like five euros. Yeah. Yeah. But well, depends on perspectives, but yeah, it's yeah, expensive. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it was like... Um, Just explain Tasty. Or Tasty, representing. Yeah, so um, Tasty is actually a funny story, like a funny story. I posted about that on the profile, but my surname is Gustin. And Gustin in Italian means, it doesn't, it's gusto. That's from the word it, it comes from, gusto. And Which gusto means? means taste. Yeah. So I was like, tasty, right? It's like cool thing. Of course, you, you know the tasty page on Facebook, which shows the recipes for things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not that, that's not me. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Tasty, you know? <laughs> but, 20 uh, million followers. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah not that, not that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I like that, the concept. We, we started as tasty kicks in the beginning because me and my brothers, we were kind of like, we jumped on this sneaker trend. We're not, we, let's say we were sneaker heads for, for a period, mm -hmm. but being a real sneaker head, it's different. We were not real sneaker heads, but that's like a very specific topic. But we had this collection, we were reselling sneakers, made some money with that, you know, bought some sneakers for ourselves, some cool sneakers, like limited, blah, blah. 
And we had our Instagram profile, Tasty Kicks, where we shared our collection and which sneakers are we selling. And I can say easily, you know, that we were one of the first in Slovenia who, who started with this, you know. And then this trend like grew a lot and people like they went, they ran over us literally with like reselling. We had, yeah. we have guys who make so much money with this here, even like everywhere, like reselling is a good business. And when, when the moment where we had to decide if we want to scale this up, to a level where we would use like bots, you use bots to get sneakers, blah, blah, mm -hmm. blah. or just like keep it local. Mm -hmm. Let's say I was, I was like, you know, I, I always want to make things big. So I do them or, or easy, like on the side or boom, yeah. boom, boom. Like, and I was like, I don't want to, I don't understand this bots concept. I tried, I didn't understand that. And I was like, like that, you know? Mm -hmm. okay. So we stopped posting on Tasty Kicks and then, you know, it was just like connecting now passions. Now saying this and I'm, I remember seeing this. Yeah, it was like always, it was all the pictures were like in my hand, like the shoe. Yeah. And then because of- Oh my God, and the, yes. And was the it logo like in on the a background. parking lot or somewhere? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like different locations. And like locations. you did like really see graphics? Yeah, it was, that was, I mean. It was like the, the, the shoe and then it was like our logo, Tasty Kicks in the, in the background. Yeah. I just changed like the, the, um, the color of the, depend, uh -huh. depending on the shoe. True. It was oh okay. God. This is coming back but, to me. But, yeah. nah, you know what I mean? So then we stopped and was then- that, Sorry, to, no, no. was that uh, the first kind of job or money you've made from doing like something like this? Like from a personal project? Yeah. I'd say yes, yes. Okay. okay. It, because it was like pre-corona mm -hmm. yeah. period when I was, of course, I was always like aiming high, let's say. Mm -hmm. yeah. But during the corona times, I understood things like yeah. I grew mentally, everything. So that was like the, the boom. So after the Corona, actually, then we switched this thing to Tasty only, you know, because we connected our passions about sneakers and basketball. We yeah. created our first basketball. And then that's how it escalated to like merch for a joke. It's a brand like inspired by Travis. Mm -hmm. We, at that time, my profile was much smaller. Like it was like a thousand followers, mm -hmm. my personal one. And um, I posted this uh, Travis, texting Travis and then I Travis replying, real. you know. And you know, that is all like all joking, it's all marketing on a very edgy marketing because mm -hmm. like if, if I was big, that thing could be like a, you know, like a lawsuit. Of course. Maybe. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's say. But uh, you know, it's all jokes, you know. That's how you you get you know, attention from the yeah. people, attention from the potential customers, yeah. you know, that you can explain ab about everything later, you know, uh, yeah. on, of course, again, be careful what you do, but even like the video where I threw this, the, the Travis sneaker on, yeah. there is a big plot to that video, which I'm not going to tell, but a big plot, you know, but as you, as you do the video, you know, it's people like, are like, you're crazy. You're stupid. Yeah. You're, you are dumb, dumb, dumb. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, it's the reaction that yeah, you're looking yeah. for. Or that, or you're bold. As I said before, you, you may like all those reactions, like sparking people and they comment and they share and they look at, they share the video. Look at this stupid guy, mm. you know, again, like uh, uh, Bleacher Report kicks, they share yeah. the video. I got a lot of like, people were commenting like there, those are fakes. Those are, yeah. and of course, like you, you get always comments like yeah. that. Like, and even people like, are going to say that. Yes. And I, some uh, of my friends were like, you know, I, I don't think this was worth it. You know, that's like, it cannot be good for you. I was like, bro. And they, the reason, of course, for basketball, for yeah, anyone watching is because you you have a huge passion for basketball yeah, and of course like, your brothers are basketball players. It's like my so biggest passion always <laughs> has been. I played yeah. basketball, I quit because I'm stupid again. I, <laughs> my friends were more important to me than playing basketball at that time when I quit. Stupid decision, but I think happens. I think you're doing just fine. Yeah, you're doing yeah I'm doing yeah. good. I'm doing, uh, you're you're okay. Yeah, <laughs> it's good. No, I think uh, you should go back. It's, it's, <laughs> it, it could be like even like an excuse. I could play now, but if I played basketball now, I would be playing like in a shitty league. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like not earning money, so it's it's better to focus on things which I'm good at now. Of course. Yeah. So and we did this, then we did events, you know, where people could just like meet up with Overloud. Then we did, um, you know, all those things which. You tried to give back because we didn't earn a euro for that project. Honestly, we, we lost money because yeah. it was like, it was like, a, whatever, like an Instagram page podcast. Yeah, exactly. And you know, p people forget yeah. fastly, but, but it was, I, it was I, really great. Like the event we went to in, in Ljubljana where you had, you know, uh, capital crew and, and Messiah performing, like mm. that was a real event, you know, and it, it was like, yeah, I know the tickets were free, but they came. For yeah, the like culture, seven hundred people come. Mm. They the came. They yeah, came for the for the culture, you know. Yeah. And it was like a really good atmosphere. It was a, an amazing event. Yeah. Like it really was good. And like you know, we do a lot of events, and 
you know, I was there like, yes, yeah, I mean, pretty to, fucking good to be fair. To make an event happen in a year and have and pull it off 600 like that. people come yeah. through, it's unreal. Yeah. You, with that event, which was one year anniversary, anniversary for Overload, how did you, you got Messiah, which is one of the biggest Slovenian artists, especially at the moment. Um, how, how, of course, that helped getting people there, yeah. but how, how was it like getting those people there and the Capital Crew, which what? is another uh, rap crew, crew from yeah. Soja, uh, Ljubljana. Yeah. Ljubljana yeah. The thing is that uh, we were driven by a community. Yeah. You know, so it was not about us. Like people didn't. Maybe we have some people who are let's let's call them fans. I, I it's, it's funny to me to call them fans, but you know they were following us actively and commenting. We had a very active community. Very, that, yeah. that, that that's it. Like we had six thousand followers on Instagram, but from that six thousand, like two thousand people were watching our stories. Yeah, you know, yeah, and yeah. which is insane. Yes, a thousand people were voting on polls. You know, it was crazy. It was really crazy. And that's how, you know, we had the chance to, to offer sponsors things, yeah. you know, because we have that number in yeah. each event grew. So the first one we started was like 50 people already, which was wow. You know, that was yeah. like the toughest, that was like the toughest part start, you know, yeah. we were lucky because we had the support from a local, like, um, what was it like a bar mm -hmm. restaurant, which you one? know, uh, Central, which is closed, yeah. they, cl they closed. <laughs> um, and. Of course, like Masaya, we had her as a guest on our podcast. You know, we linked up a bit. Mm -hmm. um, same for Capital Crew. We met all those people like during this process of having Overloud, having the podcasts. You know, again, I said that we are on a pause. Who knows? Maybe one day we'll mm -hmm. start again. But we met so many incredible people yeah. who helped us, gave us feedback. You know, um, became friends actually because I knew I didn't know Masaya before. You know, I I knew her music, yeah. but podcasts are such a good platforms. To, to find people and yes, connect people. To yeah. connect, you know, yeah. because in this one hour conversation, like we know each other now yeah. from before already. But um, if you have a, a guest which you don't know, like this one hour or two hours, this can be like, wow, like it, it's, it's it a finding like, mission. It's, yes. it's, yeah. it's probably one of the best bonding experiences. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> like yes. we, 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 we went to New York in June, what is that? November. And I found on instagram this guy called sam snowden he has a company does really cool stuff and we ended up meeting then we mentioned to him the podcast when we met with him in the park we, we didn't plan to film the podcast at all and he i guess somehow somehow it came up in a conversation like oh do you want to do it and the amount of like closure you get with someone when you mm. do a podcast mm. and even as you said we know each other pretty well mm. but I still don't know the things that you're telling me right now, especially let's say about the giveaway and other things we'll talk about right mm. now. And it's so cool. I'm well, scared it's of how well, like, we know Nico, like he came to my house last year, Christmas day and had Christmas dinner, you know? Yes. yes. <laughs> and his brothers, so yeah, yeah. it's pretty hard. Uh, <laughs> with that, that experience was... <laughs> well, uh, Alex, one of my brothers, still has to drop the vlog from that. Uh, <laughs> 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 he sounds like he, you know, he's a right. perfectionist. He's, he's, you know? yeah. Yeah. Yes. he's really making sure it's going to be... It's yeah. funny because that's his first, like, editing project. He's, like, yeah. working really but hard. He like, said he, he basically finished it. He, he finished it. He has, it. he has some detail that he wants to finish. Finish, but it's funny like he he did all this you know like the b-rolls the transitions yeah. he's oh. like i was like when i saw the video the, the vlog like Good. first first edit bro how like my first <laughs> edit was like i don't I even know what it was but yeah so um it, well talking about the event it was good because we were all family yeah. you know even like here at one life we try to do the same it's yeah. family it's not just like friends or whatever you yeah. know and what i want to say before like community is community is what is key. key yeah that's what you have to build if you want to do whatever the community is, is what you have to yeah. focus on yeah. you know and that's what i think that a lot of people right now are not doing yes. on project even on on their personal profiles mm -hmm. you, you you're not aware i mean i think about that on my personal profile you know of mm -hmm. course i have friends who follow me but people other people who meet me somewhere or just like are fans i don't know yeah. what they are you know this is like a community so yeah. one one day they can be like you know custom your customers one day you, they can be your partners they can, one day yeah. you know so it's very important mm -hmm. and this is how i feel at the moment and i feel like even a lot of people that we know it's like you know i, I have 15k followers on instagram but i know that like 
even if I made some videos that got attention, I know that ultimately has, that looks great on my profile because it gives me views and followers. But I know deep down that I'm not not growing the community. That's why it's also the reason I would reply to every single message, right? It's mm -hmm. just like, or anyone that actually has questions because I know that if I someone takes the time out of my day to even even like follow me or drop me a message, I feel the responsibility to message them back. Of course. Mm -hmm. of course. Of course. I know people have hundreds and hundreds of thousands of followers that they are actually not able to do that because time-wise you're like, okay, I still need to reply to emails. Mm. But with what I love is what we do with UK Shooters. It's like, that's when I genuinely, like we have conversations and we are growing bonds because there's people that come to our events I mean, every event, single time in a yeah. row. And it's the highlight of the week, month, whatever. Yeah. And it's just... It's crazy. It, it's, it means like so much People wait for that. Like yes. People, th that's like... The, like when those tickets go live, they're like, oh my God, this is another event I can go to and do X, whatever, see, speak to, and have an amazing well, time. Sometimes people people who organize this, you, me, with Overloud, we don't understand the importance of this mm -hmm. event because the it's not, yeah, the impact, the but impact they have, it's like huge. having the chance to be with people who have the same interests who are good at doing what they do, but they have, like, we are never the best. We mm -hmm. always grow, we always learn, you know? So everyone can give you some feedback. Like you can tell me something, you can tell me something else, you know? And then you grow, like your your knowledge, your network, everything. And uh, these events, they don't have a price, honestly, in my opinion, because even like I was at a TikTok, uh, a friend, I mean, a friend, a creator invited me to his TikTok um, workshop, mm -hmm. let's say in Ljubljana, and, I, I mean, I wouldn't say I learned a lot from him, but it's not because, well, we are in from the same, you know, we know both, like, um, we work on projects, we know yeah. what we do, you know, yeah. you get some good, like, uh, insights, mm -hmm. but what I felt like was worth all the money to that, that he charged, like, the people to mm -hmm. get there is, like, the network, like, you had influencers who were listening to him because they want to understand how to get more brands to work mm -hmm. with, then you had brands we're listening how to get the right influencers, yeah, yeah. blah, blah. And then you had like a break in between 15 minutes, like coffee, yeah. chit chat, blah, blah. You can get like business, you know what I mean? And then yeah. after you finish the event, like it, it was like two hours long, then it was like drinks at the time. People were just like bonding and, and talking and it's, that's it. That basically so, sounds like what we're doing next week in one day. <laughs> when? Because the coffee and chill and view something. Yeah, yeah. We're that's perfect. I saw that. Events. I saw that. So we're doing we the three day lunch. thing and, you know, it's, you know, the first night is like invite only, but there'll be speakers and it's like awards and drinks and then it's then the workshops. workshops. And then the next day we have, what, 250 people tickets? 260 now. And now I'm like, I'm just excited to speak to as many people as possible. I've been asked to yep. do the after movie and I was literally like, it's the one event where I genuinely want to connect with yeah. as many. I just want to help have conversations. It's a good chat yeah. sesh, you know, yeah. you can just speak to people for ages. People that, yeah. because it's 250 tickets, people that miss out on events, maybe they can come and they can get the, they want to speak to us yeah. or other members of the team. We want to speak to other people. Yeah. yeah. Do, you find it, smart. do you find it difficult sometimes to, because you're so passionate and I feel like it's the same for me and Gareth. Do you find it difficult to, let's say there's certain people that want to hang out with you that you don't necessarily are on the same level anymore and not from like a, a bad perspective, you guys just have like different views on life. Mm -hmm. And of course, when you're like freelancer, you do stuff like that, that mm -hmm. you do. Lives are completely different. Do you find it sometimes difficult to just hang out with people? Like, you know, because yeah. I'm sure you get messages from someone that's like, yeah. Oh, let's let's meet for a coffee, and you're like, I would, but then it's like, mm, you know. The problem is that uh, sometimes the time which goes into that thing, uh, I I I hardly uh, put my mind off. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I can go to that coffee because I understand how they can sometimes then be like, oh my god, he changed so much. He doesn't he care about me because I'm I'm not an influencer yeah. now because they people call me influencer. You know what I mean? Yeah. And you go there, you drink the coffee, you talk about maybe it can be like a small talk, um, whatever. Okay, at least you have the check mark done. Like yeah. you know. Yeah. But the thing is that more, the more like the biggest problems for for me is maybe let's say parties. Because I, I like to to connect with people. I like to party. I, I'm not like a party beast, but yeah. you know, I like to go go I, out. I have a good time. Yeah. Yes, but sometimes it's very tough to not think about. You know, f we have to we have to work on the marketing campaign for you know to, yeah. for the Balkan for. 
to, I don't know what, yeah. whatever, you know? And you're there at the party and thinking about how to do that mm -hmm. and then try to, you know, talk with friends or I yeah. don't know, you know, with you girls, hard whatever. To be present. Yes, yes. Honestly, yes. Honestly, mm -hmm. yes. Uh, it was much, much worse, mm -hmm. like one year ago, maybe. And now it's, it's, it's better because you try to, you know, somehow, uh, to balance it. But when you have your projects, personal projects, you know, if you work somewhere, let's put it that way. If you, if you work somewhere, you can, you can work from eight to four. Yeah. You can then put that off yeah. and then think about other things. It, it can be fun. It can be your business, whatever. Mm -hmm. But if you work on your projects, like half of your time. So one life is not my project, but I put but like, it, kind of is, in it, a way. it is like, I, I, I care so how about much it. How time you know? do you spend this a week? How many hours would you say you put in? Would you say you think, you're thinking about it all day? Everything. Well, yes, yeah. honestly, yeah. yes, yeah. because you have the like all the time, and then you you just you know check the comments, then uh, post later, then share the post from yeah. yesterday, then put yeah. the story, then um, you, you know wanna reply to people. Yes, right? yes. Yeah. And sorry for everyone who haven't replied on one life friendly <laughs> profile. I, I think I won't like never. Yeah. But <laughs> sorry, no, but it's uh, it's very tough. So, but it's just because I want from myself, just like you want. Mm -hmm. I know that like you want the best. And you want it like you, you don't want excuses. I know that like I, I'm I'll go I'll go to a party, maybe have fun, maybe, you know, because I can turn my head off. And then the next day I'll be like, fuck, fuck did I have to do that? <laughs> I love Was how you it? guys said this in sync. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but it's it's it kind of like for me, you know, I've been in this sort of thing for like five years now, and it's people will be like, it's just if I'm being brutally honest, it's the resonating with people now. Like, you know, I feel that I have outside of creator friends let's say i have like one or two that work for themselves mm. but it's in a different niche mm -hmm. and it's that thing where like oh you don't come out anymore or you don't do this anymore and it's like when i do try like once a month i try because i think i feel like it's like i should yeah but then even when i'm there i'm kind of like yeah. you know and I'm, I'm this is when my mind doesn't turn off what we do mm -hmm. i can turn off if we're doing what we're doing, I can kind of like think about other things. But when I'm in doing something totally different and I kind of want to be doing what I'm doing, that's when I struggle to switch off. I mean, but, it's a it's a curse and it's a blessing. I think yeah. we're, we're all of us three are very lucky that we found our passion. Mm -hmm. I feel like, you know, for many people, they don't know what their passion and this is. is it. Yeah. It, it doesn't matter with the age, but like I've met people and even people sometimes here, like they're so unsure of what they want to do. Mm. And you know, like we literally have at the end of the day, nothing to complain about. I feel so privileged just to be able to, like I was I was saying this on the podcast two days ago. I was like, the, the fact that like I make money mostly Wait, you from- Wait, you speak on podcast now? <laughs> <laughs> but from, let's say, getting work from Instagram and not needing to pitch anymore when a year yeah. ago, I had no clients mm. and I had no, like, no. And there was a genuine worry and fear, you know, and it's like when work comes to you through your own thought process or your own ideas, of course. Of course. it's a beautiful thing, you know, and yeah. even if it happens few and far between or then it happens a lot. And then yeah. the fact that even if it happens to you once yeah. is a great it's feeling, already like, yeah. you know, and it's like the fact that you can make something or put something out there, which leads to money in your bank account yeah. to make more it's content so that you like. Unreal. It's a great thing. And yeah. I, you know, my first understanding of that or realization of this is when people don't understand how that's possible. Yeah. yeah. And that's when I was kind of like, okay, well then speaking with you about anything is kind of difficult. I mean, it's, yeah. you explain it, of course. But then it's but like, if you, like, if you fail to understand, like, listen, we're out here, we put content online and that leads to us being paid. Yeah, it's fucking crazy to some people, and it is in a way. But yeah. it's a, it's. I mean, it's crazy. My, my people, it's people, a beautiful thing. They don't see the behind the scenes. Yeah, you know what I mean. It's because they're like, why are you not going to work every day and yes. touching in and getting yes. a paycheck? Because yes. it happens a different the, way. Like for, for, for people, I don't care honestly what they think. But sometimes it's like maybe it can be hard for me from my parents mm -hmm. when because I know that they know that I work a lot. Yeah. But sometimes I get the feeling because. Is that traditional? Yeah, like they, they see like, do you work? Or, uh, yeah. Do you, do you do something? Yeah. Like, you're it's on like, your phone? I work all the time. Nick yeah, yeah, yeah. has been working like 36 hours. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but screen I under, time, I 24 hours. I understand them. Yeah. I understand them Nico, like sometimes. What's your highest screen time? Is it 15 Oof, hours? In one day? Yeah. Go I, on. Yeah, it's like four, 14 hours and like 40 minutes. It was in Kenya, like record, yeah. breaking records. Funny yeah. story. Just to fully go from what you, we were saying, but I just think it's hilarious. And it's also kind of a good example of how sometimes 
we get certain things for free or get work. Nico once posted on his story, his screen time, he thanked this company. He was like, if, or you said, if any company wants to send glasses. me glasses they because glasses. this tag, is I my screen them. time. I yeah. them, yeah. And they messaged you back and were like, yep, here's a few pairs of glasses yeah, because you glasses, need it. Right? You need them. Yeah. yeah you need them, bro. Yeah, <laughs> you need them. Right? Yeah, it was, it was funny. Yeah. And it's crazy because let's just say you didn't like them go forward and create, um, like work with them potentially. But this is how we open ourselves to opportunities. Yeah. This is if you really wanted to, you could easily probably do something with them, right? Mm. You could easily, if they had a campaign, if you had an idea and you were passionate about glasses, let's say, which in this case, I don't think you are, as you're hiding something. Um, that's literally the but way we open This is the beauty ourselves. of what we do, doing what we do yeah. and the how if you do want to do something, yes. there is you can make it happen. countless possibilities yeah. of how but that can happen. Right now, I think it's it's beautiful, but it's getting challenging at some point because mm -hmm. you have a lot of people who understood that hack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's yeah. call it hack. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So it's all about the, it's like a battle of ideas. Of course. You know what I mean? A battle of It's uh, a saturated, saturated industry with loads yes. of people. Because Your idea needs to stand out. There, There is a lot of companies which their companies are learning, but I think like from mistakes, yeah. mm -hmm. what kind of content they want to sponsor and what kind of content is good for them, what kind of content is not good for them, what influencers are good for them, if they are good for them, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. So we have like, even in Slovenia, like as I told you, like the the one company which reached out to me about, you know, the, the sponsored reel to do, mm -hmm. uh, yes. to do it, you know? Of course I could do that real like, hey, my name yeah, is Nico yeah, yeah, and today yeah. I'm gonna present you this brand because, mm -hmm. but that's like a super influencer thing, which yeah. I will never, never gonna do. be. I don't wanna be like, yeah, you know what I mean? I, I, when, I hear, when I hear influencer where, of course Horrible people word. joke around that mm -hmm. and it's funny, but I hate that. Like, honestly, I hate that because um, I see- you, you are influencing, but being called an influencer is not the one. Uh, yeah. I think that the, this- It's this like kind a of, title. Yes, this title was uh, given to the wrong people yeah. in the industry, yeah. you know what I mean? Yes. And uh, like content creator, good, uh, yeah. yeah, it's cool, you know? So, in, and how to, how to put their product or service into your videos and not being like active marketing, which yeah. is like, it's, it's getting like worse and worse but passive marketing, which is then like, it, it inspires like um, curiosity. Yeah. It's like it, it's the most powerful feeling that you can like spark in a person. Mm -hmm. yeah. And if you do that, that's successful marketing. So how to create videos which spark curiosity. Mm -hmm. It's super simple. Like that that, that yeah. might be like the hack for yeah. a good like sponsorship like or collaboration, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? It's funny you're so. saying that because I'm currently kind of working on a job and I'm just like, once you mentioned how you, you were given a budget, right, for a video and you decided to make something completely different when you basically spend all the budget, but also give it away and also take a day trip somewhere. Like, it's insane. And after getting that job, I was like, I was, you know, I was like, okay, how would Nico do it? Like, that was, that was my thought process. I couldn't, and I couldn't get out of my own skin. And I actually need your advice after these, maybe a few days after, I need to speak to you about, like, how can I also switch it up? you know, because mm. I want to challenge myself creatively. And sometimes what I find for me is that now I get work where I'm happy that I get work for what I do. But then also when it's repeated and client likes that type of video you make, you grow as a person and you want to do things differently. Mm -hmm. But then the client wants that video, right? That style. Yes, but I think it always depends. It depends from the brand or the client you work with. Yeah. But I think that if you can tell them why you want to do it your style, your way, and how is that going to be more successful than being, hey, buy this, please. Yeah. Thank you. The, here's the code. You know what I mean? That's the, that, you know, that's being able to sell yourself, like being like, yeah. a, like, you know what I mean? A salesman somehow, because of course, like brands, they want to be safe. Mm -hmm. It's a comfort yeah, zone. You know, I, I think that even like those, the videos, which I hate so much, you know, they buy this, please. They perform somehow, I guess, if they want well, them they so much, as well. you know what I mean? Yes. But if they never, if they never saw videos like different videos mm -hmm. different like this passive way of promoting things they they don't know so it's it's more danger for them like you know what i mean it's like more risk mm -hmm. and sometimes taking risks it's it's okay mm -hmm. but it's not okay you know even like in a position where position where um you are being contacted by the marketing from that and that's the person who decides and that yes no and yeah. it's like it gets tough but yeah. Yeah. you know what i mean take risks you know, with videos. What do your parents think about what you do? Mm, 
well they understand this uh this this different kind of work you know mm-hmm. being not being somewhere like eight hours um they support me like i'm 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 lucky to have such a supportive family parents and brothers you know what i mean um i think that as i as i told you before like they they know i have very very big goals set my, set for myself mm-hmm. but sometimes they they feel like they are too big but can you give me an example of one goal that they would find that it's too big or like the one i mentioned before like you know the, the lamborghini you know yeah. that's that's super uh, how do you say that um um I don't find the word for them. Extravagant. I don't know. The, the people who like seek for materi- materialistic. Oh, okay. right, yeah. That's a super materialistic yeah. wish to have a Lamborghini. Like that's a basic, you know, that's but everyone it, wants that. It actually is a mind that is just like showing that you can push yourself. Hmm. Your mind can push it to yeah. the level where you will be able you to. You have to see yourself in yes. that. Yeah. It's not that just saying you have to work towards that, of course, but yeah. I, see me, you know. Yeah, I, I, yeah. I, I, it just see you in like three years. The, you know what yeah, I mean? Like, you exactly. know, what I mean? and that's like for same. Like, uh, it's one goal for myself was like being able to have my phone and call Kobe Bryant and talk to him about business, about yeah. mentality, about whatever. He's my yeah. biggest life inspiration. Sadly, he passed away. But right now, like, let's say LeBron James, who's again, he's a su- successful father, a su- successful like yeah. businessman, yeah. successful player, everything is successful, not thanks to him, yeah. maybe manager, whatever. Yeah. He's a good guy. I uh-huh. want to be able to call him and talk about him with about and talk with him about wines. I don't know, whatever, yeah. you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's the goal, you know, the the, the biggest. Mm-hmm. Not talking with the major of Sajana. Yeah. He's cool too. Like no yeah. but you know what I mean? But yeah. Aim high. Aim because high the world right now is global. You know, and that's what we know, and that's what even yeah. before the the debate part. You know, we we, we spoke about work. Yeah. I think we we all know how the world. We we don't have our uh, concurrenza, our uh, um, I've, um, our competition com- yeah. is not Slovenia, mm-hmm. is not Italy. Our competition is the world, but for sure. You know, content wise, creating wise, but even work wise. So there's always going to be that one guy who is working more than you. Of and course. I have that thing in my head all the time. And every every day I I don't work enough, in my opinion, I'm like, bro, you have people passing you, yeah. man. It's not, you can chill, of course, you can watch television, you can watch Netflix, yeah. but you know, time passes it's fast. But you also need to fast. remind yourself that I sometimes uh, feel like that where it's like, you're not doing enough, but then it's also like, you know, people come from <laughs> different backgrounds mm. and people come, people know different people and some people are already kind of privileged, some people are not. Um, but yeah, it's also, you are working hard and I think it's a reminder to yourself and, you know, it's very easy to feel like we're not doing enough so often. It's actually really sad. Yeah, well, that's, it. it is, but you have to be able to, you know, understand like, yeah. as you said, like having the feeling of, okay, I'm working good, like, uh, Sometimes, sometimes, and that's not good. I compare myself to people, you know what I mean? So I compare myself to better people and I compare myself to worse people, you know what I mean? And then I'm like, okay, I'm doing good, but I'm not doing the best. Mm -hmm. But it's like a moment where you're like, good. For this position right at which I am at right now, Mm -hmm. it's okay, you know, I could put more effort, but I couldn't be much like worse. I could be like at home, like whatever, you know what I mean? So that's, I think, uh, people sometimes they are too focused on just work, 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 work. Mm-hmm. I, I can be that guy sometimes, but um, yeah, it's good to have a balance in life on that. Yeah. Okay. So now it's time for something a little bit different. We asked you on Instagram to ask Nico some questions, and now we're gonna quickly go through them. And this is also how we're gonna finish this video. Um, so yes, Nico, you have max of fifteen seconds yeah. to answer each question. We're going to do this very fast. Okay. So are we, yeah. Do you have a sister? Do you have a younger sister? No, I have two cousins, two younger cousins. They're my, they're very cute. I have two brothers, twins, Alex and Eric. Shout out to my boys. (laughs) Cool. Uh, What's your net worth? Oh shit. I have no idea. (laughs) I'm not, I'm not, you know, uh, from stories, you may, you might think it's bigger than it is, honestly, but because, you know, driving the Ferraris and things, those are not mine. So yeah, I don't know. (laughs) Age and which school did you finish? I am 24 
and I finished uh, high school for industrial design and bachelor, yeah, mm -hmm. for industrial design, same, same thing. So I'm an industrial designer. Cool. How come you didn't post the interviews? I don't know what this is about. Oh, the interviews from, I think he, uh, something from Kenya. Uh, they're going to be posted in the um, after movie, which is coming out soon. It might be out already. Check it out. Someone just asked Lamborghini with a frog emoji. Anything you want to say to that? Yeah, I need money for a Lamborghini. <laughs> <laughs> That's a teaser for Humor something years. we're working on, but it's coming later in February. Cool. Next one is... Uh, uh, are you seeing someone lately? Oh, single. Text me. <laughs> <laughs> well, no. someone's saying hello, but then another person asked, are you dating? Yeah, same as before. No, I mean, it's the same just like, you know, yeah. no. So, yeah, you can text yeah, a, lot me, text of, me. a lot of <laughs> interest here. A lot of interest here, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh she, uh, she asked me for that. She? I don't know, I don't know what. Ted. Ted. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> if it's yeah, Ted, Carol. Over. Carol. Carol. No. Carol was interested. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Ted is asking, when are you coming back to Kenya? Well, I hope soon. Next year, same period like we did now, if we're coming back. Cool. So your brother, Eric, asked, tell us about your childhood. Go 15 seconds. No way. Well, that's, that might be for an episode two if we do it once. Like, I don't know. It's uh, The childhood has been like crazy. I have a funny story. I can, can I tell that story? It's like quite funny. It's, it's going to be longer, longer than 15 seconds, but it's, it's a good one. Go. Yes? Go. Okay, so when I was um, when I was a kid, I had a lot of uh, health problems. Um, fun fact: I almost died when I was four years old because of like things I had in, uh, in, in intestine, whatever. But when I was in the um, in the bolnice, fucking shit, hospital? in the hospital, um, th there was like a nurse asking me to uh, to to write her my name. I was like four years old, you know, and then she gave me the paper. My mom was with, with her and uh, I started writing, but she was in front of me and I started writing like, so she could read it, you know, Ni Nico, well, you know, it's like strange for a four year old to like, to think about and, and that, that nurse, that's the, that's the story, which I don't know officially if happened, but that's what my mom told me that she was like, um, you know, he, he's going to be very successful and he's going to grow, grow up, you know, and I have that in my mind, like as a, as a drive, you know, mm -hmm. that moment. And another one was like two moments where it's not pressure, but people like count on me to succeed. You know what I mean? Yeah. So those drive me to, to come, mm. to, to, come, to go to the top. Yeah. That's wow. That was cool. good. And can we, before we, how much time do we have? It's five past seven. When do we need to leave? Half past. In like half past, yeah. We have like 25 minutes. I really wanted to touch on, now that you mentioned your childhood, maybe some childhood, but your a big year that changed a lot of things for you was of course 2020. Mm -hmm. And a year ago you posted a video about your 2020 and how you've changed. Um, can you just touch on that? Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> yes. I feel that video is, you know, I've seen all your content, but I, I was going through again yesterday and that video is like, you know, it's a good sort of indicator of where you were and where you are in a way, I think, I think in your, with your mindset, let's say, for example. So like, yeah. Well, th th I posted that video at the end of 2020. Tell, tell the viewers which video. So it's like a video where um, I thank the year for what happened. I'm, I'm very thankful as this, as strange as this sounds, I'm grateful for the coronavirus to exist because- A broad opportunity. Yes. Like we had a lot of time for ourselves. It could, it, it had been bad for a lot of people, yeah. but it was very good for me. I learned a lot. Like I was trying somehow to, you know, to earn money, which I didn't. I tried to earn new things, to, to, to learn new things. But most importantly, during that year, like my brothers, like they drove me to, they gave me this, this push to change physically, you know, mm -hmm. I was, um, I had a lot of weight more. I, I weighed like 120 kilos, you know, um, I, I don't know how much is that in, uh, I'm not sure lot. too. It's a lot. Yeah. I, I, I lost like 30 kilos, mm -hmm. um, which gave me. A, a more self-esteem mm -hmm. somehow but again i'm grateful to that i had the experience to be the fat kid mm -hmm. because yeah. you understand all perspectives of people you, you know i was that one kid which goes to the pool and doesn't want to, to doesn't want to show himself i was like you know walking like mm -hmm. and um i'm i will never be 
a guy and I will never let my kids or whoever to be the person to laugh at somebody who's fat or, yeah. or whatever, and who is like shy about that. Yeah. Or, you know, it's very, um, it's very, it, it, it's tough for people. And sometimes you can you can't, you can't change because when I was a kid, I had these health issues. I was fat later because of food, of course, but before I was fat because of, of the medicines I was, I had to uh, yes. take, you know, mm -hmm. so they could save my life actually, you know? So that's, I'm, I'm grateful for that. I, I might be now, I'm, I'm a bit slimmer and everything, you know, I might look good, I might not, I don't know, but at least, uh, I'm happy, like in my skin. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm able to even like at, at the at, at all the projects I work on right now, you know, and one life friend and being there, like, hey guys, it'd be tough to do that if I was fat, because I didn't have the confidence. Not because yeah. I'm fat, but because of the confidence yeah. I didn't have, you know. So that's what that year like kind of. Um, and like, was there any particular reason? Where I yes. remember you telling me that it was mostly about just you like this one girl yes. and you really wanted to get with yes. her and she kind of like wasn't into you yes i i liked one girl very much in high school yeah. last two years last one two years yes and uh i never you know i would never it's like she didn't like me i understand why i wouldn't like me neither you know mm -hmm. but that thing was like kind of my drive to mm -hmm. to switch it was this is not a good drive to switch like not a good reason you know because then i i lost weight and i had a moment i was in the gym we, we built a gym mm -hmm. in our home and i was like i was i was feeling good about myself mm -hmm. i was like what what now like yeah. now i'm good like she won't she will never care about me because she went like other you know i don't mm -hmm. know what she's doing right now or no so who did I, who did I, did I do this for? Uh -huh. You know, and then you have to you know rebrief yourself a bit, yeah. uh, having but, other goals maybe. Uh, yes, yeah. I well, mean, I always think you have to want to do it for yourself. Like it's the number one thing. Obviously, there is factors outside of that, but mm -hmm. I always feel like self development in whatever way you look at it, and let's look at it from a state of how you look. Yeah, it should be for you. you know? Yeah, but it's very tough to do this for you because yeah. I agree. Uh, I, I agree. It's, it is yeah. difficult, yeah. but I think having been like. I've never been like fat, but I've been like looking incredibly good and then not so good and then because of diet or whatever or lifestyle. Mm -hmm. And I think what boils down to getting back to a level, you have to like be disciplined, let's say. Yep. And that comes yep. from you. Yep. yep. And that's kind of what but I'm saying. But at I the was, end of the day... Yeah. You know, I, know. <laughs> I think at the end of the <laughs> yeah, day... Yeah, but the transformation yeah. is crazy, you know? And it's like, you know, I, 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 I think as a person, I don't think you would have been about i know you're not changed as a person you probably got better as a person if anything it's funny uh, what, what you, want to say, you want to say something no i just said at the end of the day as much as it's really important where it comes from you're well, at the end of the day thankful for that one girl you like because yeah. you, yes. maybe you wouldn't be here but, you could be where you are right now maybe not right now maybe things wouldn't happen as fast because you gaining grateful. that confidence the confidence is key yeah always grateful I can, if you, uh, I'm not going to say the name. For you don't need yeah. <laughs> No, but um, thank you. She, yeah. maybe she knows who this, who, who she is. <laughs> but um, the thing is that I, I, with this, I understood, like, I was, I always tried to be the good person, you know, yeah. I had to be one because one, if you don't have the looks with the, let's say with girls, you know, in yeah. this, in this, uh, in this case, you have to be friendly or something, yeah, you know, sure. and I understood after this transformation, like, uh, how a lot of female friends later after the transformation were like oh my god maybe we should you know mm -hmm. like no man if you didn't appreciate me yeah. appreciate me They're before like worse you don't like yes. me my best don't, like no like yeah. come on you and, know it's yeah. funny because they say that so much about P, uh, pete davidson right he's been with like ariana and kim and everyone and people Teach say he's not a good looking guy <laughs> i don't think he's a bad looking guy i think you know um but it's just so funny because let's say I don't know, it's interesting. Some people think he's so good looking. Some people think he doesn't look good. But it's funny because they say at the end of the day, it's his personality that shines, shines through. Mm. And that's why people, I'm sure, want to be around for him sure. and want to date Absolutely. him. For sure. You know? For sure. Personality is the Even in, in this kind of, when once you're at the level of the girls he's dating, they they I think that they toughly get a person like Pete who is, yeah. he doesn't care. Like he's famous, but what what yeah. like so yeah. he's very you know what he is he can you know make them laugh whatever yeah. so yeah. that's i think that the biggest plus for him like mm -hmm. the looks of course but yeah. that's like subjective yeah it's all subjective thanks for sharing oh, yeah, that's, the, that's the that's the that's the switch juice. that's the juice should we finish the 
few less questions we have. Yes. Um, so, uh, I was the one, now you're next. <laughs> so, uh, where is the Lambo? <laughs> so, w that, that, we can, we can maybe end this with this. We're going to give away a Lamborghini. In, oh my God. In, in half a year or in one year. Say what? So watch, watch us, watch us. <laughs> watch this space. Watch this. Yes. Wow. That's crazy. That's it. Thank you for listening, and uh, that's gonna be a, that's gonna be a good Aventador. Oh! oh. oh. Yeah. <laughs> wow! Oh my God! Good. Again, Damn! Incredible! Yes, one life Lambo giveaway. No, that's not one life. That's gonna be Nico. Oh shit! Yes, yes, yes. Jeez! This went up a level. Crazy, 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 okay. crazy. Mr. Beast, watch out. Yeah, watch out, Mr. Beast. <laughs> Sajana coming for you, yeah? <laughs> I do want to just take a few more seconds, oh, nice. since this is only 15 seconds questions, because there are people that took the time to ask mm -hmm. you. We do want to yeah. answer them. Sorry. But that was, I really like this. Maybe we can have a real cut down of that. Um, but, Emil, when are you and Emil buying Lambos? <laughs> yeah, you know, Lamborghinis here are quite uh, <laughs> popular. You know, we yeah. talk about them a lot. <laughs> Um, very soon. I put I, I I put that on story, one, two, or three years. Yeah, did, not yeah. more, not more. Yeah. So and I think I think yeah. I think someone from the from the UK, UK shooters, shooters community, community, which is awesome. Thank you, Tyler. Um, I think you you said it this already in the episode, but like, how? Give us one quick snippet of how you stay motivated. How I you stay motivated. Seconds, how do you stay motivated? Oof. Honestly, I don't. Like I, I have uh, ups and downs all the time, all the time. Uh, I, I can't, I w like I watch other people. That's what I said before. Like I, I see that other people are creating and that I'm just like, they're like, oh my God, I'm not motivated, bro. Nobody cares. Stop yeah. being, stop having the bad day. Stop being sad because of that one text or something like work, bro. And of, and if you have moments when you are like, Yes, I'm gonna change the world. And you have the moments when you're like, "Fuck, uh, it's, I think it's better anything. to get employed in a store." And it's normal. It's I think everybody has those moments, and uh, you know, just push, 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 push. If you have ideas, do them. Mm -hmm. Take the step. Yeah. Create. You're gonna fail, of course, once, twice, the third time. There was some, gonna something that succeed. you posted on your Instagram a little while back, and I'm gonna find it right now because I saw it today, and I was like, "Yo, this is something I, I really." don't always emulate but i feel like it's something that i say to myself a lot um maybe you'll know what i'm going to say when i find it uh it is the wanting and speaking dreaming and doing be careful yep and it's yeah. you know you both know i come up with ideas and don't always do them quickly or whatever i yeah. think doing just doing it yeah i'm the first one who doesn't take steps sometimes yeah. i don't do it as i said you know but i think it's very important like people uh, people have cr like crazy good ideas it, and they don't put them into action mm -hmm. and they stay where they are mm -hmm. and then you have people who have okay ideas and then they do them and they you know they grow they do yeah. crazy things so it's just about the steps the mm -hmm. first step do yeah. it don't care if you fail it's a lesson it's, okay. it's not a fail it's and okay to fail rock it you know and so to wrap it up real quick um it's in Slovene, so you can actually, I couldn't think of these words, uh, words, so please translate it for me. Wow. So wow. Uh, you give me a few names. Just translate this for Gary because I can't find the word. So, uh, tell me, tell me the <laughs> pe people who kind of like affected you. Played a big role. Big, big role yeah. in your life. Well, f for sure, like, out of parents yeah of course but the person the person who i never met i just watched and uh, was inspired in basketball and in mentality wise was kobe you know kobe bryant he has always been like i, I loved his game when i was younger i didn't understand this mamba mentality thing yeah. but later you know when i grew up a bit and i understood what this mamba mentality is and it's not just about a snake or whatever mm -hmm. like he was a uh, he is a big inspiration for myself and I want, I want to be like Kobe. I want to be, you know, he wants to be an inspiration for the younger people mm -hmm. who, who are following him, we're following him. Yeah. So, you know, being, doing things is good, but giving back is better, you know? Yeah. And, um, 
yeah, I want to be like an. I, I try to be an inspiration for the younger generation, for the for the kids who they 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 might be fourteen, fifteen years mm-hmm. old with the tasty tournaments. You know, I'm never more happy than seeing them play against twenty five years olds, year olds, but who are like gonna demolish them. Yeah. But they're trying, you know, and they're following me, and you know, have seeing them with the wristbands and understanding the mentality, which I try to you know, uh, display on my Instagram, TikTok, whatever, you know, that's the thing. So Kobe is number one for sure. Like, and then you have a list, as I said, you know, this, this nurse (laughs) said, (laughs) Nico, Yeah, yeah. Uh, the one, uh, Keith Nagara is one person who said the same thing as the nurse. You know, I was, had the the Detroit um, experience with the scholarship about uh, car design. Um, After two weeks, I was, I was, I asked him, do you, do you think I'm gonna do good in this field? Because I want to be, I wanted to be a car designer once, mm-hmm. and he was like, Nico, you know, um, don't uh, don't put that on your ego. But whatever you do, you're gonna be great, you know, whatever. Yeah. So those are people who you can take that. Sometimes people are gonna be like, yes, of course, I'm gonna be good and mm-hmm. bug that all, you know. Yeah. But I'm just I have that as a drive, you know. Yeah. So I, I'd have a lot of more more people, uh, professor in 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 in. Um, in uh, no high school, but university. Uh, university. Micha Kliner, he is one who I didn't like my university a lot. You know, mm-hmm. I met a lot of good friends, but mm-hmm. the study or knowledge wise, I didn't get a lot. But that guy like changed my mind about management marketing. Mm-hmm. He was the guy who kind of put me out of the design field, mm-hmm. like he, passively, and put me <laughs> into the marketing mm-hmm. world, yeah. management world. Um, and I guess. Yes. And I guess just to go back to Kobe, he inspired you so much in many ways in your lifestyle and where you want to be and how you want to be as a person that you now started your own agency. Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't call that agency. I, I opened a company, which is going to like do things like, yeah, and uh, promotions and stuff. Which is yeah, called? Called Mambas. Mm-hmm. Because everyone who's going to join us in future is, is going to be a Mamba. So it's we'll a Mambas, Mambas. Mambas team. You know what I mean? So, team okay. Mambas. Mamba. Yes. Wow. So there, there's a lot of pe- people more, I think, which I forgot and I'm, yeah. you know, but... Uh, well, it was supposed to be a 15 second end, yeah. but we love the <laughs> <It was> longer. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so Amazing. yeah, yeah, that's it. Oh my God. Cool. That has been such a good conversation. I loved every so, single second of it. So good. Thank you guys for giving me the, you know, your, my first ever <laughs> podcast. Um, you know, thank you. Perfect. That was awesome. Thank you. We're very proud of you. And just to finish it off, we have partnered up with Delta Hub, which is a Slovenian company that makes um, productivity and creativity um, essentials. Essentials, and we so because this podcast oh, wow. wasn't actually planned to happen, we decided yeah. to do it today. Yes, wow. <laughs> we don't have it here, but we have for you Holdex, which is their new product, which you put both of these things on the computer, one of your SSD or hard drive, and then you stick things on. And you can carry it around very easily. And because they have been kind enough to send us quite a lot to give us to every guest, you are one of the guests. And when we see you in a month, you are going to get this. So just can you put them on the phone too, so you don't lose it or they don't steal your phone as they did mine with mine? Or (laughs) a cool thing is if you, I don't know, you can put the thing on the wall and then you have the phone on the wall, you can basically stick this everywhere. I'm going to use that a lot. So, yeah. That's the, just so you know, we have a gift for you. And mm. just to finish this off, Nico was kind enough to give us One, one Life, life merch. So we'll merch. be repping that now yes. everywhere we go. So thank you for um, this. Thank you for this conversation. We love every second of it. Um, so please yeah. plug yourself. Yes, <laughs> socials. Ah, uh, no, it's okay. If, if, you, if you like the podcast, you can follow me on Instagram. You'll find me. It's like my name and my surname. It's Nico Gustin. Nico yes. Gustin. <laughs> <laughs> Everywhere. And follow yeah. myself and Garrett. And of course, Trust Your Choices. Follow them. Follow on them. every single platform. And yeah, we hope you enjoy this episode. And we'll see you on see the you next at the one. Top. Oh, you said at the top? <laughs> on the next one. Oh, oh. shit. I, I understood at the top. I was like, oh, <laughs> my God. We <laughs> maybe, like that. <laughs> you know what? We'll that. that. <laughs> that. <laughs> if you like this episode, make sure you like and subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend. And we'll see you at the top. <laughs> oh. Bam. <laughs> Good. Nice. Thanks. So, what? Phenomenal. Oh, my God. So Ooh. good. <laughs>